Okay, I have a friend who asked me a question recently. They wanted to know how to find all the forms of a particular word within a book. And so I thought I would record a quick video that showed you how to find all of the different forms of a particular Greek word in your English text. So uh, we're going to actually look for the word judge in the book of James. Uh, you'll notice here that I am in the book of James. And so I want to look for the, the word judge. Now, you'll notice right here in chapter 4, that's chapter 4, in chapter 2, verse 4, I have the word that I'm looking for. It's the word judge. And if I hover over it, you'll notice that here in the bottom of my screen, you'll see that it's kretes. Uh, so kretes is, is the word that I'm looking for. I could also look at my uh, interlinear. I could open an interlinear and click on the word judge, and you'll see that it's kretes. Uh, and so that's one of the words I'm looking for. Now, that's a noun form of the word. There's a verb form as well, which would be krino. Uh, and so we want to we find occurrences of krino. We want to find a word, the, the occurrences of the word kretes as well. And we want to find every place in the uh, epistle of James that that occurs. So what we need to do is we need to open a search. We need to make sure that we have selected a morphological search because we're looking for morphological forms of the word. We want to make sure we're set to Logos Greek morphology, that we're going to see the results in our New American Standard. We're also going to use our search range as James. And then uh, we're, we're ready to do our search. So how do we do that? Well, the easiest way to do that is simply to type the word lemma with a colon after it. A lemma is the lexical form of the word. It's the dictionary form of the Greek word. So, uh, for example, in English, if, if I had the sentence, uh, I went swimming. If you wanted to look up the word swimming in a dictionary, what would you look up? You'd look up the word swim. You wouldn't look up swimming. You'd just look up the, the word swim. That would be the lemma or the lexical dictionary form of the word. And so that's all we're doing here is trying to get down to that dictionary form of the word. So I, I know I'm looking for krinos and kretes. Uh, so I'm just going to start typing in English. Now this is one of the cool things in Logos 4. You don't have to shift your keyboard and type in Greek letters. You can start just typing the transliteration of the word and it'll find it. So if I type K-R-I-N there's my word krino, and all I have to do is click on it. Now, if I go ahead and do this search, just searching for the word krino, you'll notice that it's the verb form. I, I have six occurrences in four verses. That's, that's the total number of occurrences that I've found. But there are other words, and we've already identified one, kretes, that we need to search for. So we say or. Uh, you just do a, a, uh, an optional search. This is we're going to add to the search that we're looking for. So I'm going to say, show me every occurrence of the word krino or every occurrence of the word kretes. So lemma, colon, K-R-I. And as I scroll down here, I find our word judging, um, or a judge, kretes. Uh, but I'm noticing some other things in this list. I'm, I'm noticing the word judge, krino. I'm noticing judging or judgment, which is krisis. That would be uh, something that we'd be interested in looking at. This idea of a lawsuit uh, also looks like it's a, a krino word. Uh, kriterion is the word. And so we want to look at kriterion uh, and see if that occurs. We also notice that uh, kritikos is uh, a word that it means able to judge. All of these would be forms of this word krino or krisis. So we want to look for all of them. So we'll start with, we started with krino. Let's go ahead and select krima, lawsuit or judgment. Type or, lemma, colon, and just again, K-R-I. And then we've already selected Crino, so Cresis, or Lemma, colon, K 
K-R-I, Criterion, or Lemma, K-R-I, Cretace, a judge, or Lemma, K-R-I. Now the trick to this is that you cannot put a space after the colon. There's no space between the colon and the, the transliterated word that you're searching for. And so click on Criticos, which is able to judge. So now I have actually six different words that I'm looking for, but they're all connected. They are all uh, have this similar root, this, this crino or crema or cresis root. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit the go button or just hit your return key, and it's going to redo the results. And now you can see, instead of just identifying the six occurrences of the word crino, once I look for all of the family of the words, I now show 15 occurrences in nine verses. That's a significant improvement in the number of words that I found. But that is a word that James, through the Holy Spirit, was it chose to communicate. This idea of judging and judgment and making a judge, uh, a, a judgment or having a judge be involved. All of those are related words. We would want to find them all. And so now we can see that there are actually 15 occurrences of the word. So if you want to find every occurrence of a word, just do a morphological search. Type in the word lemma, colon, and then start to type the transliterated Greek word. And you'll be able to select it, do your search, and find those words.